All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Amazon FBA video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about month nine of my Amazon selling journey. Just breaking down the numbers, the sales and the profit, uh, talking about each product individually and just going over uh, what I did right, what I could have improved on. So if you're new to the channel, welcome, glad to have you. Basically what I do with this channel is openly talk about my numbers and my results of selling on Amazon, kind of going month by month and uh, occasionally I'll do video requests. So hopefully you guys can find something valuable out of this video. So let's just get straight into it. All right, so this is where my selling uh, on Amazon journey kind of started to get exciting with uh, $16,179 in sales for the month and a total of $4,122 in profit. So this was pretty much double from the, uh, the previous years where I was kind of stuck in that $2,000 profit per month range. Uh, but this month I broke through that. And the reason for that was that my fifth product that I launched uh, started to pick up and started to sell pretty well. Uh, and I think it was already selling better than my first product within a month. So that was really cool to see. And I knew it had more potential uh, later on down the road, which it did. Um, so overall, 883 units sold for a profit margin of 25%. So kind of hovering around this eh, 20 to 40 uh, units sold per day. And that started to look pretty good. So. Uh, the worst days still making a little bit of money but on the best days over here I started to break out into the two hundred dollars profit per day range and I was kind of looking I think at this point I was pretty happy I was I thought I would be happy with a hundred dollars profit per day and then I started reaching you know uh, 150 200 250 dollars profit per day so that started to get pretty exciting with five products so let's just break down each one of these all right, so month nine here, this is my first product. And I was selling you know, close to 10 units a day here for almost $50 profit per day. So a total profit of $1,246, 277 units sold. Um, so this product was starting to sell really smoothly, uh, hitting pretty much $1,000 in profit per month over the last uh, three or so months. And this was really, you know the product that was pulling most of the weight the other the other few were doing all right in like the three to three hundred to a thousand dollar range in profit uh, but this one was the most consistent up until this point until i launched my fifth product um, so sales were smooth here ppc was doing pretty well uh 466 dollars in spend for a 15 percent a cost which is nice and low so advertising cost of sales was pretty low and that helped with um, overall ranking and just uh, sales and profit all right so this is product number two uh, 654 dollars in profit uh, 150 units sold which is pretty good so that's what is that um, almost five dollars profit per unit on about a twenty dollar product uh, so margins yeah 20 22 percent here um, you know this product it has his up and downs. Some days it would sell almost 10 units a day and some days it would sell one unit a day. Uh, so the demand was kind of like, you know, not 100% like every day, pretty steady. It was it was kind of like up and down. Uh, and then ad spend, only $86 spent on ads. So my first product, I think I spent about $400 on ads this month. And this one, uh, only $80 spent. So. Like I said in the beginning of some of my videos, like these four first four products that I launched were all kind of variations of each other. And that's what I like to do because once you launch one product and it's doing well, then if you can just change something slightly like the color or um, like change the, the use of it somehow, then it's really easy to just go back to the same supplier and launch another product of, of this variation just to give a little spin off of it. So overall, a uh, pretty good month. Okay, so this was my third product launched um, a few months back here. So a total profit of $767 for this month, uh, 139 units sold. 
kind of hovering around the five to 10 product uh, units sold per day. Uh, I think only about $100 in ad spend here for a total margin of 28%. So this was a pretty good month. It ended up steadily increasing. Uh, I think some of my best months were about uh, $1,500, $100 profit per month. Um, so overall, a pretty good month for this. All right, so this is my fourth product in this variation. Um, obviously running out of stock over here, but $208 profit and 38 units sold. So struggling to sell five units a day. And I already knew that this would happen basically based on the demand. And uh, I just created this uh, product just for the, the, like the completion of this listing. So four, four products, four different variations of this, hardly anything spent on ads, $26. Um, so I wasn't really worried about running out of stock on this. Um, I was kind of focused on launching more products and focusing on winning products. So basically I, I like, as I started launching products and seeing what worked and what didn't, I stopped, um, focusing so much on like trying to like squeeze out a few more sales from this product and rather just focus on creating better products, optimizing listings and um, uh, pay-per-click on the products that were already selling well. All right, so this is my fifth product. Um, just having launched this, I think two weeks before. Uh, so a total profit of $1,326 for 278 units sold. So already this product beating out my first um, and increasing steadily over here. So f starting to sell 15 to almost 20 units per day, just a few weeks in. So obviously this being a very good product, uh, a decent amount spent on ads. So $500 on pay-per-click, uh, this month for a 23% ACoS. So competition being a little higher, but also demand being a good bit higher as well. So um, at the peak, this product was doing, I think, $5,000 in profit and is still doing very well to this day. So I ended up launching more variations of this product, um, basically going in the frequently bought together um, portion of the listing and scrolling down and seeing what customers were buying in addition to this product. That was a really good way and a strategy that I use. So when I see products buy, uh, customers buy one of my products and they're buying like different, really similar products, but from other, other brands then I basically look into that, see if it's worth selling and then jump on that. So that's what I did with this product, uh, launching a couple more. All right, so this is my profit and loss statement uh, as of these nine months. So starting in December of 2017, all the way up to this this month, which was September of 2018. So uh, as you can see, basically the revenue uh, bouncing around, but overall slowly increasing to having my first $10,000 in sales month in June to September, which was a 50% increase, mainly because I launched another product um, but there were a couple other factors included. So profit over here, kind of hovering in that $2,000 range, you know, dropping down when I ran out of stock and then finally breaking out into over $4,000 in profit, uh, this month. All right. So that's it for this video. That was month nine of me selling on Amazon for over $4,000 in profit. Really cool to see that increase. Um, and breaking out of that kind of $2,000 a month range, taking me, you know, nine months to get there. Uh, and at this point, I still wasn't taking money out of the business. I was still putting money in, still working as a lifeguard and um, still learning more, more um, you know, tips and tricks of, of selling on Amazon, still listening to podcasts, YouTubing, um, never, never stopping learning, which is the cool part about entrepreneurship. Basically, there is no... There is no ceiling to how much money you can make, uh, how much you can learn, how much you can grow. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, um, drop a like down there, and then comment below also what you want to see next.